If you've taken a trip to your local grocery store recently, you may have noticed shelves are looking a bit light. Nearly two years since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, stores are now seeing an increased demand to keep shelves stocked. On your last trip to the grocery store, what did you notice? If it's empty shelves and holes throughout the aisles, you've hit the mark. I would say it fluctuates. Um, we have some good weeks, but we also have some really bad weeks where, I mean, it looks like Swiss cheese on when you're walking down an aisle. Nearly two years after the start of the pandemic, grocery chains are now faced with even more problems. Inventory becoming increasingly challenging for stores to get a hold of. It's definitely across the board. Um, produce, not so much as until recently we've started seeing some shortages. Uh, meat, that's a continuous thing. Um, there's a real short uh, fall in chicken right now. With the lack of available products comes an increase in pricing, the pandemic being the root of the cause. COVID-19 has created a lot of economic complications, including rapid price increases across the world economy. People see it at the gas pumps, the grocery stores, and elsewhere. In addition to a spike in prices, an ongoing national labor shortage, companies struggling to transport freight as truck drivers are down 80,000, according to the American Truckers Association. As the Omicron variant surges, many locals here in the Valley are choosing to work from home, others leaving their jobs entirely. As associates come to work, a lot of them do catch COVID. They go out for, you know, the, the mandatory required time um, that the CDC states, um, and then they come back. Um, I've had associates not come back. Leaving managers like Corey in a bind. As inventory fluctuates, demand and customer foot traffic increases. And as COVID-19 continues to be the largest ongoing global crisis, store inventory levels are expected to continue to fluctuate as prices remain high. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Anthony Ramos, University Speaks.